attempting collapse. Please be my guest, go first. Hello, good morning. I miss vlogging, if I'm being really honest. I think my last video was, is gonna be a, just like a what I eat in a day. And I've been loving making the more themed or like wellness focused vlogs, videos. Some of you really like the just more chatty, real day-to-day -day content. And whenever I ask you for video ideas, so many people say like, that's what you wanna see from me. Day today. But I feel like a lot of my day-to-days are very similar and that's why I don't feel like filming it. However, I'm filming this on Easter Sunday and we are gonna leave later today to go get a flight because we're going to Amsterdam. Our first little holiday of the year. Will and I are going to Amsterdam for a few days and so yeah, I'm bringing you guys along for a bit of it. I don't normally like vlog trips. So, it'll be fun. And Amsterdam is so beautiful. It's a one hour flight from London. Our flight is at 8 p.m. this evening. So yeah, we've got time. I'm having quite a busy, productive little day. Today's a busy day. We're wrapping things up before we go. So yeah, I'm gonna crack on with some work because I need to finish editing a video. Then I need to do some packing, etc. So let's do it. I just got this in the mail from Free People. I ordered it and I, I'm like, this is the most perfect airport outfit. Try to remember to link this below because I love the fit of this so much. I also feel like if you were pregnant, it'd be so cute and comfortable. I have to like 25 minutes. It's now ready. <laughs> Weird angle. I got my work done. Video is uploaded. We're good. So I'm going to finish packing. It's time to do makeup. When people are packing their makeup, I'm sure I can't be the only one who does this. Do you go over like your makeup routine in your head? <laughs> We're obviously going away. I want to use up these. Well, these like. <laughs> I got these half soft pitters and I'm just gonna stick egg, avocado, tomato in them, make a little sandwich. consumed and oh my god it was good i love like um egg mayo salad kind of situation i've packed i'm just super excited over the past month i've been receiving the sweetest messages from you guys because there was a moment in february and all honestly i had just hit kind of a low point i think a lot of people struggle at that time of year sort of early in the year january february where the weather's still miserable we weren't really doing anything exciting i like I hit the ground running quite well in January with goals and like taking care of myself, going to the gym, working out regularly, all that good stuff that I really, that I know is like so good for me. I look back in January, I did not make enough time for like socializing and that's a huge part of what makes us feel good on a day to day basis. A lot of you have checked in on me over the past month, which has been very, very sweet and I'm actually doing so good right now. I feel like it's important to still talk about when things are good. I've actually started up therapy again just because it's really nice to have this complete like third party person with an unbiased opinion listen to your inner thoughts and your inner thinking. I love using BetterHelp for online therapy. This next part of the video is actually very kindly a paid partnership with BetterHelp. I don't think therapy should be like this last resort, the last possible solution to your problems. 
I genuinely used to be the kind of person who was like, well, I, I haven't gone through any serious trauma or I'm not going through grief or dealing with this really big issue. So like, why would I talk to a therapist? It sounds ridiculous, but I really thought there was kind of a stigma around it. And I remember I first signed up for BetterHelp back like two years ago. And I was amazed by how freeing it was just to talk about these little emotions that have been building up help me understand like why i'm feeling a certain way and how to deal with it how to cope with it i feel like we are in a place where therapy is a little bit more normalized and i truly believe it's because of companies like BetterHelp who provide such an easy accessible service i like to do things on the daily basis that i know take care of my body and my mind but therapy for me is that extra step i think BetterHelp have done an amazing job at making therapy this way less intimidating thing for me the idea of taking a chunk out of my day to go travel to an office and see a therapist in person is very intimidating for some reason so what immediately attracted me to their help is just how flexible it is you can do it all from your phone from your computer they have video chat options or even just messaging if that is a more comfortable preference for you they've just created this really easy possible way to start communicating with a therapist and really taking ownership of your own mental well-being your mental health better help connects you to a credentialed therapist who's trained to listen and give you helpful unbiased advice also a particular feature of BetterHelp that I love is that if you don't click with your therapist, if you feel like it's not the best match, you can switch up your therapist at no extra cost, click of a button. Okay, so let's quickly talk about just how easy it is to get started with BetterHelp. First of all, you wanna to go to their site and you can use my link, betterhelp.com forward slash Becca Watson. I'll leave it in the description. You answer a few questions, it really doesn't take that long, just going over what it is you're actually looking for in a therapist. And so that is how they match you up with the best therapist for you. They'll match you with a professional who has years of experience helping people with struggles similar to yourself. So let BetterHelp connect you to a therapist who can help you all from the comfort of your own home. Because of that, I find it very easy to fit into my schedule. So visit betterhelp.com forward slash Beck Watson or when you're signing up, you can put my channel name, obviously Beck Watson, in the sign up process. That way you can actually enjoy a special discount on your first month. I hugely recommend BetterHelp. Okay guys, I'm gonna finish, get my suitcase together, get my bits together and let's go. We got ourselves a little morning coffee. We're just strolling around. I actually don't have any plans today. So very much going with the flow. I think we're near Jordan, which is like a really cute part of Amsterdam. Okay, we've popped on a boat. <laughs> we just picked one that had like open top because I'm confident it's not gonna rain. Yeah. I'm going on a little boat tour. Yeah. Trading post. Then the Royal House of Europe. In that time. You can see a beam with a hook on it. And how many bridges are there in Amsterdam do you think? Trying some traditional Dutch food. Hello, soup. Mm. Good morning! We're doing a little easy workout because the hotel has a gym and it's empty. That feels like such a rarity, so.
day two in Amsterdam. I spoke to you this morning in the gym. We're just getting ready. Honestly, this morning's been very chill. It's already like 1 p.m. But we got out, we had breakfast. We went and walked around this park that's right next to us, which was really lovely. And gymmed. We have the Heineken factory booked for two. So we're now rushing and getting ready. Um, I'm gonna try to put you somewhere. There we go. Just so I can talk to you whilst I do this, because I know me and I know how long my makeup takes. I'm already running late. I'm definitely the kind of person who, I now literally just do the same makeup every day. I'm so boring. Yeah, so today, Heineken Museum. I also really want to go check out this like food hall market called Food Helen. So I'm probably mispronouncing literally everything I say. Um, but loads of you guys recommended it. It just looks like a massive food hall that has anything and everything your heart could desire. Can you see the absolute mess in the background? I <laughs> need to be that person who like unpacks when they get into a hotel room. I never am. I'm the kind of person who has their clothes everywhere. I don't like that about myself. Excited. I've actually done the Heineken experience before, but Will hasn't. I'm thinking, honestly, I'm gonna continue this vlog into just like a whole week and just get a, literally like a spring week of my life because I was just planning to film Amsterdam, but I don't want this vlog to be really short. So I'll probably film when I'm back home. My family are coming to stay this weekend. We're here, we're here till Thursday and it's currently Tuesday. This is my favorite bronzer at the moment from Pat McGrath. I don't know, it just has the nicest formulation. This is the outfit we're going for. T-shirt from Cause, vest from Revolve, jeans are, I need a belt. These are from Naked. It's all very cash. Like when we were out last night, I noticed literally everyone is dressed very casually. <laughs> A moment for this little crochet cardigan I'm wearing. My sister made this for me and I, in all honesty, I've been like too scared to wear it because it's obviously quite fragile and delicate. But yeah, I thought I went with this outfit. You know, I'm gonna be a little cold, but today we're gonna go explore Rotterdam, which I think is just like four, yeah, 40 minutes on the train from Amsterdam. We're going to head to the central station. We made it to the famous little houses. I don't realize like people live in them. I don't really understand how. Frozen. Frozen? Frozen yogurt. My favorite things. I think you think it's overhyped. Let's have some ice cream. Oh my duckies! We got back yesterday in the evening. All this happens when I go away, I do not get nearly enough clips or as many clips as I want. Um, but like I said, it's fine. There's been a lot of things happening recently, like good things, good news, but it's all kind of happening at once. I've spoken about this a little bit before. I basically don't want to talk about it too much and jinx things. Cause I feel like I did that last year <laughs> and I, yeah, when you guys will know when the time is right, but just a lot of like personal admin and stuff happening, 
um, there's some new exciting work things happening. So honestly, this holiday came at the most perfect time. And also, we have come back to London now that the clocks have changed. And so we have more daylight. It makes me so happy. My parents are actually coming this weekend. They're gonna be here in like two, three hours. Um, so yeah, I'm just enjoying a little slow morning with my sister because she got here last night. And yeah, how many days did we even do in Amsterdam? It was like four nights in total. Amsterdam, I just, it's like the perfect little holiday. It's one hour away from London. I love it so much. I was gutted though because um, that's my second time going to Amsterdam and I still couldn't get tickets to go see the Anne Frank Museum nor Van Gogh. So here <laughs> is my top tip because like everyone obviously says if you're going to Amsterdam, those are two of the top recommendations that you have to do. But literally book them like a month in advance. We didn't even book this trip a month ago. I think we booked it like three weeks ago. So when I went to look for tickets, like it was all sold out already, which made me really, really sad. Cause I promised myself, I was like, next time I go to Amsterdam, I have to do it, I'm frank. But yeah, I ate so much food. Um, went to the gym once, which was nice but also kind of like needed a break from that as well and I think that's okay. I'm in a really good place with the gym and moving my body regularly, but I think it's also okay to not be afraid to take a week off and avoid getting bored of it or like burning out. I'm gonna do some skincare because I don't know if anyone else gets this, but yeah, when I go on holiday, I'm like not on top of skincare. Like I'm not thinking about those kind of things, so my skin feels really dry. I'm gonna catch up on emails because that's like something that's nagging me at the back of my brain. And sometimes that's what self-care looks like. Like just do little things to help future you out. Try to be consistent with this. Like three, yeah, I would do this probably like three times a week. It always looks a little scary. It always freaks me out a bit. Yeah, I leave this on for 10 minutes. <laughs> my sister is pissing herself at me. Just do your work, girl. <laughs> 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 